You may find the idea of e-waste recycling to be annoying and tedious, but it is really necessary because enough people have skirted the issue that toxic chemicals are now getting into plastic food packaging. Um, so this is from recycling. Mm -hmm. So there's two different ways to categorize, uh, or there's many different ways rather, to categorize uh, recycled plastics. But typically with electronics, um, like let's say your old game console or an old television. Or electronic cords. Sure, I mean most electronics actually are black plastic. And this is specifically uh, where the issue is coming from. So black plastic is aesthetically pleasing. Mm -hmm. It is. And then, but so are, uh, you know, things made of recycled black plastic, like food containers, forks, knives, plastic utensils, what mm -hmm. have you. Each year the world generates 50 tons of e-waste and it's no longer used for anything, but only about 13% of it is recycled in the right way. And according to research published in Environment International, even recycled e-waste poses significant health risks. When when you have electronics, um, they're not just black plastic. Though the plastic itself is it's used uh, with a dye called carbon black. So carbon black is incredibly hard to recycle using current techniques. Uh, it does seep out. Mm -hmm. um, but when we're looking at e-waste in particular, it's not just black plastic. There are also things added to further insulate or uh, keep it generally healthy or fortify the case at least. And these include antimony, which is durable when exposed to heat, but it's similar to arsenic in terms of toxicology, bromine, and limited amounts of cadmium, mercury, and lead. And sometimes companies are able to skirt the e-waste regulations by saying that, oh no, these aren't um, hazardous mm -hmm. or these aren't toxic. They are repairable or reused. So they are sent a different way and then they find their way into recycling and then by, uh, I guess, many loopholes or many falling through the cracks, these elements end up in um, plastic food containers or coffee cup lids or, you know, a then, variety and, of things. And that's where this becomes really dangerous because we have so much black plastic in our lives. I mean, just looking around the studio yeah. right now. Camera, chair, that thing. Just the, pa <laughs> the pounds of black plastic that we have in this very tiny space can only multiply over and over and over in everybody's apartment and everybody's home. And that's where this gets very, very scary. Um, there was one part of it where the University of Plymouth team used an X-ray spectroscope to kind of measure the material uh, that was being out there. Uh, the researchers detected that bromine is in nearly half of the black plastics out there. And they said that it's most commonly detected in clothing and toy categories is where they find a lot of this element. Sure, I mean, there's a lot of black plastic toys mm -hmm. like think uh, about all the Star Wars toys that have black plastic anything any kind so of many vehicle, Darth Vader's. any kind of maybe like toy soldiers even think about cars yeah. automotives yeah it's everywhere so it's important to recycle things the correct way it's probably easier in the mm -hmm. immediate to just be like I don't care not my problem, but it does become your problem if you like to get coffee to go, if yeah. you like to order a hamburger from a restaurant, mm -hmm. it can be an issue. How much pl black plastic is around you right now and is it used in anything that would touch food? Look around and tell us what you find below and like and subscribe for more.